Hello everyone. Today I am here with the big IB Spentex update that is the vector tool. So I decided to give it a try and give you my honest opinion about it and tell you about my experience. So this is a completely new experience for me because I am not a vector painter. I have seen several tutorials and noticed that people use reference pictures and they kind of use those vector points to make an outline and color it over the reference layer. So I tried that at first. So first of all, we need to add a vector layer. Then over your reference layer, you can stress over it or you can simply draw a line and then stretch it out using the vector tool. I found the second procedure easier. So I am going to show you that. Remember that vector is a prime feature. So you can only use it for one hour per day. Now that we have a line, you can edit it using the vector tool. You can click on the line and then you will be able to see a pencil icon just below the selected area. You can also click on the pencil tool on the toolbar. Then a pop-up menu will appear on the screen where you will be able to change many things such as the type of the brush, the thickness of the brush and also the opacity of the line and the color of the line. Now, if you want to stretch out the line, click on the three dots beside the pencil icon. You will see edit vertices. Click on that and you will see all the vector points that you can push and pull to give it any shape. I think that is pretty cool. It can be messy because there are too many points, but once you get a hang of it, you can easily stretch out and mold the line into anything. It requires patience. And as a newbie in case of vector art, it surely tasted my patience. So this is a quick demo after going through some trial and errors. When you are doing this, you can hardly notice how fast the time is moving. And before you blink, one hour is gone and so is the privilege of using this vector tool but there is a trick where you can beat the system and i'm going to show you how in a bit Now that we have stretched out the line and you feel like some of these points are unnecessary and you want to remove them then you just simply select those points and they will turn into blue color. Then you click on the three dots at the corner and it will give you the option to delete those. You can also select a single point and delete it as well. So now it's time to tell you the trick behind using the vector tool even after the one hour has passed. As you can see, this is the time I activated the vector tool for that day. And now it's over an hour but I'm still being able to work with it. That is because I have kept the vector tool on. The little arrow button you are seeing, you have to keep that option turned on to be able to use it. If you use any different tool such as brush or eraser other than the vector, it will stop working and 
it will tell you that you are done for that day. It's not a 100% win, but you can trick the system as long as you have all your lines ready and your vector tool on. I was not sure how to do a proper illustration on a reference, so I decided to make a different sketch and paint like I would, but in vector style of course. And for that I have this sketch and I used pencil graphite to do the outline. And of course I could only do this on the next day because my one hour for that day was over. Now that I knew how to cheat the system, I had all the necessary lines ready before I started stretching those out. I added those lines on the important curves and then used the tool to mold it the way I wanted. So this is what it looks like after stretching out all the lines. Now it's time for painting. Before we start painting, I need to tell you that for painting on a vector layer, you cannot use a mixer brush. Only normal brushes are allowed. I wanted to see what happens to the line art if I shrink or increase the size. So after I shrunk it down, I was not sure about the credibility of vector because it was so jittery and it looked very light. So I didn't really feel great about it. But when I stretched it out from that small size, it surely retained the quality and looked very solid. So that made me happy again. I think this will help me with future illustration if I need to move the line art around. But then again, you have to do it within an hour time frame. Because after that, if you want to move around, you have to rasterize the layer. And also, if you are a vector rookie like me, then there's an important tip. Do not paint like usual raster layer. If you do that, then you will end up with a very big mess. When you turn on the vector tool, there will be crazy numbers of lines going on here and there. So you won't be able to edit it properly. That's why I would suggest you to use the drawing tool. So if you click on that finger button, you will be able to see all those drawing tools under it. Choose the polyline or baser curve and fill out the area that you want to color. It's simple, it's not messy and it's so much hassle free. I used that same technique and that's how I ended up with this. It surely required a lot of layers and patience but it worked out. Painting the hair took me the longest. Making it look believable requires a lot of patience. Now that we have discussed all the important things, I'm going to show you the final product and give you my opinion. First of all, I want to let you guys know that it's much better to use drawing tool for making the line art 
than using a regular brush. In that way, you will have more control and will have less points to be worried about. For example, the one that I have without any drawing tool has tons of points which can be difficult to deal with. But the line below it was drawn by drawing tool has only two points and is way less messy. You might ask me, then how are we going to mold it as we wish? Simply, you have to click on the line and wait for a few seconds, then you will be able to see add vertex. You click on that and you have an extra point. So you can add as many or as less vector points and then mold it into any shape similar with coloring use this tool to paint it rather than using the normal brushes okay so those were the last tips i needed to give you now it's time to talk about some of the setbacks so I realized that we cannot use various tools in case of vector layers. At first I thought it's the problem of IBS paint. But then I did a little research and realized that in vector layers you cannot use a bunch of tools like the smudge tool or the blur tool or the bucket tool. You can't even turn on alpha lock. And I'm not sure if it's the same situation in other app, but if you want to turn on FX button, it will ask you to rasterize the layer. And the biggest issue for me was that you can't use the lasso fill or lasso eraser tool. I can still understand not being able to use the liquify pens, but not being able to use lasso fill or eraser is such a no-no i'm not sure if it's allowed in other vector illustration apps if you are a vector illustrator and watching this video let me know if it's possible to do in other apps because of the limitation of one hour and also the other things i had to use tons of tons of layers and also some normal raster layers to be able to add the preferable effect that I wanted to show. Also, I wanted to merge down all the layers together. Then I realized if I merge them, the erased parts also gets merged. Because in case of vector, if you erase something, it will also think it as a shape so even if you can't see it when you merge the colors all the erased areas will also show up so yes you have to be very careful and precise about every step and also I would suggest you to not use eraser at all because you just don't know when it's going to bite you in the back so yeah it has its pros and cons if you are into super clean artwork that is very eye-catching and you can stretch it out as much as you want without losing any quality then yes this is great but if a painter like me was not used to do such precise actions it is difficult and I don't think I'm going to use it that much apart from the line art. So, anyways, overall, I had a good time. I expected to have more issues because it was my first time. But that was relatively easier than I expected. But still, it required a lot of patience and I was losing it at some point. I won't lie to you. Also, if we had more than one hour, it would be so much better. But it's still pretty cool that they have introduced it to Ibis Pentex. And I hope the people who need it would be able to utilize it properly. 
if you are a noob like me and if you want to see the complete process let me know in the comment section when i get better at it i might be able to share a complete process video with you so let me know about your experience with vector tool on ibis pentex are you happy with it or do you have any issues so that's it for today's video thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one Till then, take care.